No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything. All right, we're back. And today we are looking at uh, Scrap Heap, I think this is the name. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just get right off the bat. Front of the bike looks like a duck. I know I'm probably not the only person that said this, but yeah, it looks like a duck. Like there's there's the front of the face, there's the eyes. Um, I guess it's a triclops because he's got a third eye, but <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was interesting. I thought it was funny. Uh, he does have a weapon. Stores right on the side of the vehicle. So there's that. You know, these uh, handlebars seem to be bent a little bit. Eh, oh well. Um, so yeah, if I remember correctly, he's supposed to be just a, a remold uh, of uh, what was his name, Junk Heap, I think. I don't know. A lot of these um, uh, junk yons, I think, are all more or less the same mold with just minor cosmetic differences. But I could be wrong about that. So feel free to correct me if that is the case. Um, so there's the bike mode. Really not much else to say on, about it, it's just a fictional style bike. Kind of reminds me of an old, uh, uh, I want to say like an old school Honda. But, um, I mean, it is what it is, it's very much just its own thing. But uh, he does have two kickstands on the bottom here, so if you want to lean him like that, like an actual bike, you can do that. Although realistically an actual kickstand would be more on the side of the bike than underneath the bike like this. But, you know, every bike model is different, so I can't really comment on that. Um, I'm just going based off of the Hondas and, you know, uh, Vulcans that my brother owns, because he has a lot of bikes. But, uh, yeah, really not much else to say. Uh, let's just get straight to the transformation. Alright, we're going to start with the back here. Go ahead and fold up these saddlebags like this. And then what you want to do is unclip the feet from the bottom of the bike. Oh, one thing to keep in mind. One wheel is wider than the other. The wider one goes on the front, just in case uh, you have trouble putting these together. Because I made the same mistake. Uh, put the thinner one in the back, wider one in the front, um, just to be sure. Because they are they are different. There is there is a difference. Just pointing that out in case anyone has issues with that. Oh, well, um, all right. Well, anyway, go ahead and uh, fold the legs out like this. Uh, you can remove the wheel now if you want to, or leave it on. Really up to you. I like to take it out just for the sake of convenience. Straighten the legs out. Fold the legs or the feet forward. Oh god, that was really tight. Jesus. I hope I didn't break anything. Do the same thing with the other side. Unclip those, fold them forward. Looks like he has a bit of an ankle. Oh, he does have an ankle rocker, but they're backwards. Okay. Alright. Anyway, go ahead and fold the legs around like this. So they're facing forward. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, next what you want to do is Fold the back seat of the bike like this all the way forward. Alright. Oh, actually, no, we can't do that yet. Well, anyway, go ahead and uh, split the front, the arms apart like this. Remove the wheel just to get out of the way. Um, I guess if you want to, you can pull the fist out, but it's a little early in transformation for that. But, oh man, those are on there good. I'm going to have to get those in a minute. Okay, pull the arms out. Do what you want to do. Fold the head in, fold this uh, little cockpit piece or uh, fairing, I guess, if you want to be technical about it, forward. Uh, you do want to unclip it from the bottom of the bodywork here. There you go. Fold that out like that. Go ahead and fold this in like that. Oh man, those are in there real good. There we go. Alright, fold the fist out like that. Do the same with the other side. Fold out the fist. There you go. All right. You have to fold uh, this backpack in, just like that. It's a little tough to get in there, but once you get it in, it's it's in. All right. Then you fold those back in. Tab the chest in again. Cording that forward. Do whatever you like with these handle. Oh my God, those are really bent out of shape. But uh. Go ahead and stand him up. He is really tall. We need to get some height here. Okay, sorry about that. I had to adjust the camera, but uh, there he is in his robot mode. Um, and he's pretty solid. I don't really have any major QC issues. Uh, joints are all fairly tight. Oh, you got to fold those antennas out, by the way. Um, I'm sorry if this review feels kind of rushed. It's just I haven't had a lot of free time lately, and um, I haven't been able to really um, film videos and such. But uh, let's go ahead and give him his weapon. Um, but there's there's scrap heap in his robot mode. Um, 
Again, if you're troop building Junkions, uh, I definitely recommend looking for them. Really not much else to say. Um, if you do see them, pick them up, add them to your collection of Junkions. But uh, until next time, you all have a good one. Hallelujah! Another soul saved!